How's it going and getting those? A Tony Chan here, and welcome to the bonus episode four. And we have made it to the fourth month. That's what I'm talking about. The new website is up and running, which I'm very proud of. It took a while to learn, and everything's finally migrated over, so it's finally done. You know, I'm still planning to make improvements on that. So let's go ahead and start off. Uh, I'm going to be implementing some changes and some feedbacks that I've been getting. And so one of the big changes is that I'm going to start releasing the episodes on a Wednesday instead of Monday. And here are a couple of reasons why. So first a reason is that Monday is a bit too hectic on many people's schedule because of work. They will listen to the episode, then get to work, then completely forget or don't, don't have the time to take in what they learn and put it to good use. And so Monday, we're just busy. We got a lot of stuff piled up and we just got to get through it. And so we don't take the time to take in what we just learned. And that's why Wednesday is when things start to slow down, where we could catch a breather and focus more. So this day is uh, where I'm going to start releasing it because it's, it's just the most optimal time to listen and to use what we just learned. Of course, I asked about Friday, but it seems that people are just preparing for the weekend. And so they don't want to... You know, they have other stuff in mind. And so Wednesday is definitely the day that I'm going to start releasing the episode because in the end, I don't want you to just listen to the episode. I want you to have time and energy to take action on what you just learned. So that's the ultimate goal is for you to hear these awesome guests, hear their inspiration stories and the resources they're giving out and then take action on it. Cause y'all, y'all know my mod already. I've also improved on the sound quality and I've added more steps in my workflow to ensure that the sound quality is better. So for example, the voices are all on the same level now and there isn't like a weird fucking situation in volume so yeah all the voices and the music as well should be sounding on the same uh, level and there are still some background noise which is hard to delete and the reason is that some background noise are connected to the voices and so if i try to delete the background noise it delete the voices as well so as some some background noise is just gonna have to stay there I haven't really got any feedback on the sound so far, so I'm assuming that's good. And I would keep approving on it. Like one thing I want to do is improve on the vocals just to enhance it and make it sound more clear and more uh, vibrant. I'm also going to start doing previews of the episode to to do like a little teaser. I've uh, tested this out before, so I've been using an app called Anchor to create a preview of the next episode in order to tease you. And I got to thank Chess from uh, Plus 7 Intelligence for teaching me this. Now that I'm done building my website, uh, the next step is to be more active on social media and interact with my audience more. And, you know, since I'm done with uh, WordPress and everything else, I, I just have more time to market and advertise the show. I'm not looking to gain more followers necessarily. I'm looking to build more meaningful relationship with my fans. I want to post more helpful resources from my guests, uh, share my personal thoughts on the game industry. Like there's a lot of stuff going on with the game industry and it, it's just growing and I, I love being part of it. So definitely going to be more active. I might not be too personal because I'm still a bit of an introvert, but over time, I'm pretty sure I will change that. Also, I'm changing the end segment of the podcast, which is called Crunch Time, and I'm going to call it the lightning round now. And this is more of a personal thing for me. So as I hear more stories of the horror of Crunch Time, I feel like a sort of obligation to push against it. I used to think it's like a necessary thing to do, but it's at the cost of the health and time and, and finance of, of people. And I don't want to promote something like crunch time or to encourage it. And I've been reading a book called The Blood, Sweat and Pixels by Jason, who is a Kotaku editor. And reading the stories of what companies have to go through, what employees have to go through, like the changes. I don't want to spoil anything, but I highly recommend you reading it to just get a sense of what companies go through during uh, during crunch time. And it, it's tough. Reading this story is really tough. And I highly encourage you to read the book so you just get a, a better idea of what you might be getting into once you join the game ministry. Crunch time is a real thing that should be prevented and it has caused many burnouts in the industry and I'm hoping my guests and I could give you the knowledge to avoid or effectively pass through crunch time. I want to make a game developer's life easier, you know, better, more fun. And that's why I'm doing this podcast is to 
give that motivation and the, the, the tips and tools to make successful games uh, effectively. Essentially, I want to help in a crunch time. And there are many people that are out there that are voicing their opinions on, you know, we need to do better management or have better tools to prevent crunch time. So yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on crunch time. And if you want to send me some more feedbacks, please let me know. I, I love getting these feedbacks. I want to create the best podcast as possible. I want this to be the best game developer podcast out there. So send me a feedback at Tony at game dot com so I can make the show better. Like you could tell me what kind of guests do you want on the show? What kind of questions you want me to ask? What kind of content that you want me to bring you uh, so I can bring you more value? Is there anything I should add or delete on the website, etc.? The more feedback I get, the better. Big shout out to just everyone that have helped me and motivated me to do this podcast. You know, the podcast is not an easy thing to do and it takes up a lot of time. And I, you know, I told you, I mentioned before that I had a newborn baby. Oh wow. She's already seven month. Oh no, no, six month now actually. Oh my gosh. I, the time is just. It feels like it's going by much faster when you have a kid and she's already trying to walk and she doesn't know how to crawl yet. So I don't know, she's skipping for some reason. But anyways, you know, like I said, doing a podcast is tough and I researched other game developer podcasts and for some reason they eventually stopped producing shows or episodes and I'm not sure why that is, but I plan to keep this podcast going. I'm really passionate about it. So. I will keep going and I already have a lot of, uh, guests lined up as well. So I'm, yeah, I'm just going to keep pushing content out there and hopefully you can find it, uh, helpful. Um, the regular video game podcast that talks about games in general, you know, like, uh, reviews or the thing that's going on right now, like the Star Wars uh, stuff. So maybe I might branch into that uh, in the future, but yeah, it's just. I, this this podcast is, is really dear to me, so I want to keep this going and help people out. And getting heartwarming messages from other people, it's really satisfying. It feels good, and I really enjoy giving back to the community. And I got some awesome guests lined up, like Sonia Michaels from Adichie Pen Institute. And we talk about resumes, cover letters, and how to stand out when joining the game industry. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, in summary, Game Devs, the new episodes will be released on Wednesday starting this week. And so, yeah, just keep, just remember that. Keep an eye on that. Of course, I will send out messages to give you a heads up that, yeah, everything's going to be released on Wednesday. In the end, I, I just want to be the podcast or the episodes to be at an optimal time where you could utilize it. So I'm hoping this will help you out. I hope this gives you more time to focus and to put what you learn into action. Uh, you can check out my website for all these show notes. So if you want to connect with my guests or use the resources that's mentioned, my website lists it all. Uh, crunch time will be now called the lightning round. Like I said earlier, I want to help prevent crunch time. I don't want to encourage it. I don't want to feel like I'm poking fun of it or anything. So it's going to be called the lightning round from now on. I will be more active on social media to show a bit about my personal side. I will be posting up resources that I learned from my guests, previews, or you know anything big that in the game industry I want to uh, post it up. I might be a bit slow because, like I said earlier, I'm a introvert, so bear with me. Thanks again, everyone, to help me, and thank you for listening. I hope the shows inspire you to make great games, to you know, to give you positive thinking, and to ultimately release your first game or to join the game industry, like I- I'm trying to do right now. I'm Tony Chan from Game Dev Loadout, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Remember that knowledge is only potential power. Execution is the game. I take action every single day, and I hope you are doing the same. Uh, I want us to grow together because I'm in the same position as you. You know, I'm not an expert. I'm more of a messenger. Let's keep growing together. I would love to hear your stories. If you're creating a game or your progress on it or anything you're doing at all, like we need to motivate each other. You know, we build a community together and thank you so much for all my guests that's been helping me and giving me all these awesome resources. I hit up my guests and they help me with my resumes. They, they help me with job searches and events that's going on. So I definitely recommend you contact them for any help. So Yes, I will catch you on the next episode on Wednesday. Don't forget, Wednesday. Peace.